Hello and welcome to Firefighting in Canada this week. It's Friday, April 8, 2016. Today's edition is brought to you by VFIS of Canada, a division of CVIS Incorporated, Canada's largest insurer of firefighters. I'm Tamara Teek and here are the top stories. Firefighters performed a high angle rescue after a car plummeted off Newfoundland's iconic Signal Hill. Ontario passes presumptive PTSD legislation for first responders. And a Toronto fire captain explains the value of firefighter incident envelopes in responding to crew member injuries. And now to our top story. Firefighters in St. John's were called to Signal Hill on Sunday to rescue the lone passenger of a car that went over the edge of the cliff and crashed 90 metres down. The Canadian press reports first responders believe the 20-year-old driver either jumped or was thrown from the vehicle. She was rescued within 20 minutes and was taken to hospital with serious injuries. Emergency crews then removed the car from its perch above well-used hiking trails while battling 100 km an hour winds. The Ontario government voted unanimously on Tuesday for legislation recognizing post-traumatic stress disorder as a work-related illness for first responders. Firefighters and other emergency workers will no longer have to prove PTSD is job-related to be covered by the province's Workplace Safety and Insurance Act. The legislation will also allow the Minister of Labour to request and publish employers' PTSD prevention plans. New Brunswick's provincial government introduced similar legislation last Friday. In the April issue of Canadian Firefighter, Toronto Fire Captain Jeff Boiseau explains how preparing firefighter incident envelopes can help departments respond to crew emergencies. And once we wanted to make sure that for the protection of our workers when they were taken to the hospital for whatever the, the circumstances are that they would have all the proper documentation and, and they would know, have all relevant information for what went on. So that's why we designed it as a single-use envelope with all the information on the inside and the checklist on the outside to what's in. You know, the, the biggest feedback we get are from the, the chiefs, that the fact that they have everything all together in one envelope. We, if you prepare for the worst and hope for the best, I think that's one of the ways we looked at it for this. Thanks, Jeff. That's our show for now from Annex Business Media's Niche TV Newsroom. Thank you to our sponsor, VFIS of Canada, a division of CVIS Incorporated, Canada's largest insurer of firefighters. You can find more news about Canadian firefighting online at firefightingincanada.com or subscribe to the magazine and have a copy delivered to you. On behalf of all of us here at Niche TV, thanks for watching.